Egyptian space Nazis with psychic big brains that go brrr. That's basically the Thousand Suns. But if we're going to talk about the Thousand Suns, we got to talk about their Primarch, Magnus the Red. Now, Magnus was, in fact, red. He went into demon mode a lot at the gym and had a personal best on squats and psychic powers. Yes, an absolute nerd who was more yoked than a scrambled blender with said yokes for that yoked guy you knew in high school. Magnus was born on the planet Prospero, and due to his gifted kid abilities, he had a connection to his papa better than the other kids who made up the Primarchs besides Horus. Wow, we did a video on him. Magnus was quite the tall lad, and his skin wasn't red yet, but it had a pink hue due to the sun on Prospero. When Magnus became the Primarch of the Thousand Suns, he encouraged learning knowledge and mastery over the warp. Now basically the warp is basically hell, but it's everything and nothing at the same time. Think of Rubik's Cube forged in the abyss. So basically a Rubik's Cube. Little bastard will solve you one day. But the warp is a huge ocean of psychic energy, as Magnus would put it. But there lives entities in it, such as the four chaos gods and demons. Magnus's dad, the Emperor, imparted knowledge about this and warned Magnus not to overindulge in the psychic powers, due to what lived inside the warp and their proclivity to manipulate people. Just ask Horus. Wait, that hasn't happened yet. But it wasn't all peaches and gravy for the Thousand Sons. Actually, there were very few good moments. They suffered mutations from their powers and it noticeably changed them and dwindled them down. Their name is a reference to the belief that there were only around 1,000 marines that could actively fight. The other Primarchs thought, let's just get rid of them since they're a liability, but Magnus pleaded with his Padre to let him find a cure for his legion, and the Emperor was like, "Hey, broski. So Magnus scoured the universe for either a couple days or a couple millennia. Either or is a long time to me. But he returned having made a deal with the Chaos God of Trickery and Changer of Ways, Zeech. He lost his right eye and was given demonic powers of psychers, along with his people, but most importantly, they were safe. For now. That's called foreshadowing. Now that the Thousand Suns were cured, they entered the big invasion called the Great Crusade and absolutely ripped ass. The enemy's ass, to be specific. They were hailed as heroes by the Emperor, but there was someone who objected to the Thousand Suns' way of combat. So you see, these Thousand Suns were doing this game-changing thing called using tactics, and not going in full-on assault and probably losing the same amount of soldiers as they kill. I know, game changer. But also probably because they were using sorcerers and got their powers from demons and the psyker powers made Magnus more arrogant of his abilities. But the point is, the Primarch of the Space Wolves, Lehman Russ, saw anything other than full-on assaults the likes of brawling in a ring as a disgrace. But Red the Magnus and his thousand sons could do cool wither stuff like lightning, reverse time, and warp reality with the warp. All's pretty good. Oh god, what's your skincare routine? Yeah, so it turns out doing a Faustian bargain isn't the best idea. Smart thinking. So they started mutating, but even worse. Their skin started turning to dust. Think mummy rot from D&D. So they started turning to sand, so the Thousand Suns Marines that weren't mutating began putting the infected in a stasis sleep, hoping to find a way to cure them. This drastically dwindled their numbers like an audience at a Kanye West concert without autotune. The Emperor said, yeah, I'm a head out, and left the Thousand Suns on their planet of Prospero, and Magnus came down to save those that were the least infected. The Space Wolves Primarch Lehman Russ and the Death Guard Primarch Mortarium greatly distrusted Magnus and the Thousand Sons like a friend who you made plans with for three weeks and he forgets to show up. But they distrusted Magnus and his Marines for their obsessive love and usage of the warp's powers and their usage of its powers to brain control enemies. The other Primarchs began to complain about psychers and which the disbandment of the Thousand Sons. So what happened? Well, it was taken to the court and Ragnus the Med argued that they were useful and could make it better. The rest did not view it this way. Sorcery and psychers were basically banned like ketchup on ham or cheese on a hot dog. So Red the Magnus was meditating and saw some not-so-swag visions of the future. You know, just the Horus heresy. W watch the video, please. I, I worked hard on it. He foresaw half the Marine Legions betraying the Emperor, but he couldn't foresee his own fate or of his Legion. He tried contacting Horus to try and stop him, but he had already been corrupted. So he teleported through the warp to meet the Emperor in person, but a barrier had been placed around the planet to prevent warp travel in. The mysterious entity and completely trustworthy being offered Magnus power so he could breach through the barrier. So Tagnus Mored agreed and Sim Salabim were now in. Problem is, so were legions of entities from the warp who the Emperor was trying to keep from entering. So understandably, the Emperor was kinda upset at Magnus and didn't believe Horus was the traitor. He ordered Lehman Russ to bring Magnus to the Emperor to face for his crimes, but now bad guy Horus said, kill them all. What? Fucking kill them! Jeez. Alright. So they did just that. The Space Wolves and a bunch of the best soldiers the Emperor had, and women, can't forget the Sister of Silence, invaded the planet of Prospero and began killing the Thousand Suns. Eventually, Magnus fought Lemus, and this too had an epic battle of the age. Oh shit, he's down. The entity that made the deal with Magnus revealed himself to be Zinch and said he would save all that was his if he sold his soul to him. Magnus agreed in order to save himself, his people, and the knowledge they accumulated. He and his army were quickly teleported to their new home, the Eye of Terror in the Warp. Magnus was transformed into a giant demon and his army became like sand piling armor and became a chaos legion to Zeech. 
Hocus Pocus, that's basically a thousand suns. Magnus did nothing wrong. Have fun, common.